Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my Leica Talks, all things Leica. And before we get started, I need to appeal to you to please, if you are not supporting, please consider if this show is of importance to you, if you find you get something from it, please consider a small donation or a weekly or monthly contribution through Patreon. It really, really makes the show possible. It's been a tough year with the pandemic and I've been out adding more shows and trying to build up more content and share more of my information since I have time to make these videos. All right, so today I want to talk about the Leica M3 with a dual range camera lens. So the dual range is an interesting lens. So it's a 50 millimeter Summicron, but it has regular focus from 36 inches to infinity. But then if you want to shoot closer, you can physically lift the lens and move it over to the other side of this little notch. But then it won't turn any further. It's locked. There's a ball bearing up here that unlocks it. And what you need to do is you put on these goggles that has an indentation for the ball bearing. And when that goes on, it releases it. So now it'll focus down to about a half a foot. So six inches to 35 inches in this range. And what's fascinating about this is it actually has frame lines that work with parallax. So as you're focusing closer, the frame lines actually change to show what you're really going to get. By using both the goggles and the frame lines, they're able to show you how you can shoot a close-up photo with a camera that you're not looking through the lens. And I find that fascinating. And I was listening to a podcast with Ralph Gibson, and he was talking about how the, the dual range lens and the ability to shoot close up really changed the way he worked. It's an interesting podcast that he was speaking on. He's a photographer from the 50s and 60s, and he, I think he actually apprenticed with Dorothea Lange. And he talked about how he was fascinated by the fact that Leica was such a well-built machine that he really dedicated his world to being a Leica shooter. He bought Leica, he stayed with Leica. There was a time, he said, when a Japanese manufacturer said, we will pay you $50,000 a year if you will just endorse our work and our product. And he didn't do it. He said, I'm a Leica guy. I can't do it just because of the money. I need to be about committing to one camera system and Leica is what I want to commit to. And the fact that they had the dual range really opened up his ability to shoot close up. And I haven't shot the dual range a lot. In fact, I've shot it a lot without the finder. So to take off the finder, you bring it back to the center point. You take off the goggles. Don't drop them like I almost did. And then you move this little lever back to the normal range. And now you have a normal, oh, I'm thinking in the right place. Now you have the normal Summicron. So this is the, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little tiny notch right here. That's in the close range. And then you lift the whole thing up and you put it on the other side of that notch. And now it's in the far range. Something to know about this, if you want to use this lens, you cannot use it with like an M9 or an M8 because in the, I believe it's in the far distant, like 36 inches to infinity, it will scrape the sensor. It doesn't mount on those cameras. You could mount it on the close focus side, but I just think you shouldn't use that lens on a digital camera. This is a lens that you use on a, on a manual like an M. It also doesn't fit on some bodies, like the M6 TTL is a little taller and it doesn't fit on that camera because it's got this little black notch at the back there you can see. That little notch sits on top of the camera and it's because the M6 TTL is a little bit taller, it doesn't quite fit. So. But it, I've used this lens a lot. In fact, this is one of my favorite lenses for just portraits of friends because it's such a great, solid feeling 50 millimeter Summicron. 
It doesn't have the focus tab though. So you have to focus this way. And I find that to be okay, but I really like the focus tab that the rigid Sumicron has. The rigid Sumicron doesn't have goggles that let you shoot close. And Ralph Gibson talked about how that really was a game changer for him because he wanted to be able to not be limited to a three feet focusing distance. And some of the later Leicas came up with a one that you could focus, I think, down to about 24, 25 inches. But still, the idea that he could get within six inches and have a viewfinder that actually showed him the parallax correction, I really like if I had to say which of all my Leica lenses are the most build quality, I would say this dual range is the best build quality of any lens I've owned by Leica. It just feels like this heavy tank of a lens with probably all made of brass and it's just solid as can be. I don't think there's another lens that feels like this one does. So would I recommend it? I'm going to have to do some shooting with it on the close range mode. And Ralph Gibson kind of inspired me to do that. But as far as using it as a regular 50 millimeter Sumicron, I've loved it. And I find it to be not only appropriate for the era of the M3, but it also is just a, a, a camera lens that you feel like you're shooting with something extremely well built and you're not worried about gear. You're just worried about the image because you have the best gear in your hands. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, even with a little bit, hit a Patreon and I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light.